Welcome to part six of the Carver Captain boat series. In this episode, my dad and I tackle some topside plank repair and replacement in preparation for getting the transom installed, hopefully coming in the next episode. If this is your first time on the channel, I would definitely recommend going back and watching parts one through five of this series uh, to catch up on how I got here. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoy the episode. Back in uh, December, my family was over to help me lift the boat off the trailer. And then uh, once we got it off the trailer, I quickly put everybody to work uh, helping me strip the paint on the, the starboard side of the hull. Um, there's definitely still a lot of, of stripping left to do on the hull, but uh, we made some good progress um, in just a couple hours. What I'm working on this morning is removing uh, these couple planks that I'm hoping to repair on this side. Um, on this, this upper plank, I did have uh, where the, there's rotten seam here that I translated or transferred down into the, the top of the plywood. Um, so this one, I'm actually gonna replace this whole section. Um, and then for this lower plank, I just had, or the second plank down, I just had some rot in the back end here. Um, so just going to replace uh, this section. Um, you can see I've cut them pretty close to where uh, there's a frame. And then the next step here will be to use uh, probably um, a block plane and, and um, make a little bevel guide here to actually create a bevel on the back end of this um, to create a scarf joint. Um, so that way the new wood and old wood will actually overlap directly in front of this frame so that way it can be fastened through and that joint in addition to glue um, will be um, have some mechanical fastening um, through the frame itself you also see um, this is going to be a little bit more challenging to to transfer and figure out but um, towards the back end of the boat here in order to create a flat level surface for the transom on the inside um, both the top of the lower plank and the the bottom actually, this be the bottom the bottom of the upper plank both have this uh, same thing have a, a basically a scarf or a, a bevel on it um, so that way they they come together and create a, those those overlap and create a nice flat surface I'm actually waiting to get to the store to get some marine plywood um, so I can read 
do this top plank first um, out of that template. Um, you can see here is my uh, my scarf on the, uh, the the plank I'm keeping. So that that actually went really well. The block plane um, and and this plywood play pretty nice together. So and that that was not difficult to do. I still have to do the the scarf on this top plank. But. Today we're working on getting these starboard planks uh, replaced. Got some really nice Kume marine plywood yesterday, th and H, so getting those cut up and prepped for insulation. Here's the progress so far today. So we have uh, the new the lower plank um, fitted and, and temporarily fastened in place and then have the upper plank um, loosely fitted and clamped here. Uh, the scarf's looking good. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, the next step um, as we did with this, we uh, actually transferred the holes from the existing planking um, from the inside out. Uh, so going to do that on the forward portion of the new upper plank and then drill some new holes um, where the, the two new planks meet and then start uh, preparing to permanently install them. This morning we got the uh, rest of the cap rail or cover board off the port side. Um, fortunately there is a little bit of uh, rot in the plank at that same spot where there's a, a seam and a block there. So um, we're not going to replace this whole top plank like we are on the starboard side um, just because the, the back the aft end of this plank looks good so i'm going to do probably a about a two to three foot section probably from this frame um, up to this frame here and just uh, scarf in a new piece here so and that'll be the project for this morning
Here I have the port side um, actually fastened in. I used a thickened epoxy on the scarf joints on the end and then used the uh, mahogany colored 5200 um, to go to fill the seam between the planks themselves. Also have the lower rear plank on the port side done. And so I'm going to let this um, all set up uh, before tackling the, the top plank on this side. Um, overall, it's going pretty good. We have Shadow over here supervising slash guarding the house. Hi, Jetta.